-hmm. What do you normally eat? Just anything anybody fixes for me. Hmm. They fix good food? Yeah. I get meals on wheels every day. Oh, yeah? Hmm. That's my lunch, and then at night, your mom fixes me something or some, somebody. Yeah. Something like that. So what were the name of your parents? Names of your parents? Frank. Frank? Frank, what was your mom's name? Henrietta. Henrietta. Mm -hmm. Castleman? Mm -hmm. huh. What did they do? Henrietta Smith was what her name was. Henrietta Smith? She married a Castleman. Huh. His name was Frank Curtis Frank. Castleman. Frank Curtis Castleman. What did uh what did they do for a living? Farm. They farmed. Huh. He had nearly all the land in Oklahoma around Hollis. Oh yeah? How long was he alive? How long was he alive? Uh huh. He died when he I think when he was forty one years old. Huh. He had ulcerated stomach. He had, well, he had cancer. Really? That was painful. Mm. That that was painful. Very. What about her? No, she died when she's about eighty-two, I believe. And she had died of heart failure. Heart failure. Huh. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. If y'all don't know where John is, your dad is, how are you going to go? He said he'll be home by the time I have to go. We told him what time I had to go. He just went from there. I'm going to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Huh. What about Grandpa? He worked at the plant, didn't he? Yeah. He had he had a heart heart attack. Heart attack. How old was he? He was forty one. Forty one. Hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. He might have been 39. He died real young. Yeah. Ricky wasn't even born yet, was he? Mm-mm. Hmm. And you were working at the nursing home? Yeah. What year did you move to Borger? We moved to Borger in 45. 45. Why Borger? Mm-mm. Why Borger? That's where he, everybody told him to come and get him a good job. In Border? Yeah. <laughs> huh. Did you like it? No, it smelled, at that time, it smelled terrible. It doesn't smell terrible now? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't notice it now. It does to me. It does? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh, how long did he work at Phillips? Till 59. Till 59. He died in 59. Hmm. How long have you been in this house? Ever since 59. 59? You moved in here before he died or after he died? Yeah, just before he died. Just before he died? Huh. He bought this house, and we moved in, and he died in about two months afterwards. Wow. Wasn't here very long. Mm -mm. It must have been pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Very hard. Huh. He had the... 
No, he did. He was working on getting the insurance that would be paid for if he passed, if he died, or something. He so. didn't have it though. He didn't have it. Wow! So you had to But he, he had it on the that old mobile that we had. Yeah. We've just been driving it a short time. Huh. Wow. So you had to. Were you working then, or did you have to go to work? No, I went. I went to work after then. Up at the nursing home. Mm hmm How long did you work out there? Twenty-one years. Twenty-one years. It's a long time to work out there. Mm -hmm. How much did you make? Oh, not very much. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Yeah. You paid off this house with minimum wage. Mm -hmm, I did. I, I sent the last payment in. Made payments on it. The payments was just ninety something dollars. Oh really? Yeah. That's and not I, bad. And I sent payments in. Uh huh. And I got. And here come a, the last payment back. Said I had it paid for. Huh. Oh, I was so happy. <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> I bet you were. Huh. So who was, which one of your kids were still living with you whenever he passed away? Mm -hmm. All of them was. All of them were? Even mm -hmm. Betty? Yeah. It's a lot of people for this one, for this house. You had five kids in the three bedroom house? Mm hmm. But they. Willard got married pretty soon after that. Willard and Edie and. Uh huh. And Betty. Betty did too. So I just had James and. And your mom. Uh huh. And Ricky? And Ricky. Ricky was just a tiny baby. Huh. He's born two months after Daddy died. Really? Hmm. Well, I think I'm full. Are you? That's good. No more, huh? Well, I'll, I'll eat it after a while. You've got another one in there, too, if you want to do that again. Mm -hmm. how, how do you... There's a, there's a box in there. Don't you want to take it home with you? Mom's got some over there already, and you've got another one in there, and there's a box, mm -hmm. and there's instructions on the back of the box on how to cook it. Okay. You can cook it in the microwave or on the stove. Mm -hmm. Microwave's obviously quicker. <coughs> huh. You can't have my food. She always begs for my food. Hmm. We'll put the foil over this. And put it in the ice box, and how how will I warm it up? Probably back in the microwave again. You don't have to add any water or anything. To it. I don't think so. You might add a little bit. You got some drops in or some um, foil in here somewhere? Yeah. Look there in that drawer over there where that rag's hanging. Well, you didn't need much, did you, Grandma? And I think there's a. Uh, use some of this? Yeah, if it's big enough. You recycle all your foil? Uh-huh. You recycle all your foil? Yeah. Yeah, put there in the spot. In the fridge, right? Very good, yeah. 